Hey, what's up everyone? So in this lesson, I'm going to cover how to get perfect contrast and go over how contrast works exactly. Okay, so first thing is this image here. Let's just kind of get it out of this kind of log look. So I'm just going to do a quick adjustment here. There we go. And let's just say we kind of settle for something like this. Okay. First of all, scopes are very important. So we're going to kind of look at these scopes here. And we want to get for this shot some nice crisp blacks. So the first thing that I will do is create an additional node and then drop the shadows just so that I'm touching the bottom here because that's the look I'm going for. If I was going for a more low contrast, washed out, softer look, I might want the shadows a little bit higher. But for this, I'm wanting very nice, crisp contrast. Okay, so now next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise the highlights up a little bit. And again, I'm just kind of landing in a good place uh, for the look that I'm going for. And I'm liking that level of brightness there. And next, I'm going to adjust the contrast here. And again, until I find a good spot that I'm happy with. And here's a trick to getting perfect contrast. I adjusted the contrast and next I'm going to go into the pivot. Now what the pivot does is it helps you kind of finesse and fine tune the contrast. And how it does that is basically um, adjusting where the shadows begin, where the highlights begin, and what exactly the midtones are. So as you can see, I kind of went for this contrast look here. And I always like to go a little bit darker than what I like, knowing that I'm going to adjust the pivot. And now I'm going to go over here to the pivot. And you can see I can make the look a little darker, or I can adjust it to make the contrast go in a brighter direction. And that's really just pivoting um, where the shadows and highlights make that adjustment to create contrast because when it comes down to it that's all that contrast is it's the range between the darkest darks and the brightest brights and what the pivot does it adjusts where those shadows drop and where the highlights go up and where the midtones land and that's a very simple way to put it now i'm going to go back to the contrast again and push it a little bit more and i want this a little brighter on the pivot There we go. And so these tools alone can make a huge difference in how precise your contrast is. There we go. This is where we started, believe it or not. This is the absolute beginning, and this is kind of bringing it out of log. And then here is simply adjusting the shadows, the highlights, and then the contrast in the pivot. And next, I'm going to just increase the saturation a little bit get to a place that I'm happy with like that. And I wanna kind of turn down the color temperature, make things a little cooler. And this shot's a little too green, so now I'm gonna add a little magenta to get a bit, a bit more natural look. Let's say somewhere like that I like. Okay, and I'm going to continue this trend on tweaking the contrast by showing you a few other tools that help with this. And those tools are the shadows and highlights. Basically shadows are the absolute darkest parts of an image. So let's say her sweater, this dark area here, possibly a little bit of in this these stains. And then highlights are the street lamps, you know, these very bright areas. And let me just show you what that kind of looks like. Okay, and let me go on full screen so you can maybe like so and then bring down the highlights a little bit. Okay, and this is what that little adjustment did of highlights and shadows. Here we go. It's the before, after, before, after, before, after, just showing a little bit more information. There we go. And then one last little thing here, it's kind of a little bit of a trick, is creating an additional node. And then what I typically like to do is if you want to separate the 
actor or the subject from the background, it's always great to maybe do something like create a node like this or create a window like this, feather it, shift H shows you what you're affecting and I'm going to go here and click to do the reverse and basically we're creating a more focused vignette. Not quite a vignette where we're only going to do the corners but I'm just going to again go into full screen so you can see better and I'm going to kind of bring down the gain in the background to really focus her and that's what we did. So again that was just a quick adjustment of doing a basic grade here and then here we did the shadows, midtones, highlights, contrast pivot for the most part and then here we messed with the shadows and the highlights and then here we created a vignette. So you can see what a long way this clip came and now it looks sharp, crisp and has great contrast. Okay, so hopefully you learned something here, some powerful tools to take advantage of. Definitely subscribe and hit the like button. I'm going to be publishing more and more videos. They're going to get more and more in depth and let me know what you want to learn. If you want to learn grading, if you want to learn more about gear, if you want to learn more about the business side of things, I'm crafting a course of different classes to possibly put together and throw on YouTube. So let me know what you want to see because I do read those and I am listening. See you next time.